into the Edgware Road and Earls Court to Kensington Olympia. On the Circle and Hammersmith and City lines, there is no service between Baker Street and Hammersmith. This is for planned engineering works. There's a good service on all other lines. Come on, Alex. Come on. Marcus. Marcus. Happy birthday for last week. Let's see you. get a photo. Cheers, Matt. It's good to have Ollie! 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 Very proud dad today because my daughter's got herself in the program and she drew a picture of Marcus Bettinelli. The second time she's got in there um, for doing a picture, so she's very happy. Well, aren't you, yeah. yeah, I decided to draw Marcus because he's one of my favourite players and he's pretty good. Um, and he's quite good to draw, so I'm quite happy to see what doing. How does it feel to be in the program? It feels really good because I feel like. I feel more confident in my drawings and I feel like I'm quite good enough for my GCSEs. So being in a Fulham programme actually inspires you in education? Yeah, yeah definitely because I feel like my artwork's good enough to um, progress on. been in good form lately, so yeah. I mean, we're hoping to push up to the top two. And what's your prediction for today against Villa? How do you think it's going to go? But if I can ask both of you that question. 2-1. 2-1, 4-1? Yeah, agreed. Uh, I think we'll get moved up in the end of the, end of the year. I mean, 
I'm hoping it's a it's an automatic, but if not, playoffs, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Go, Go for them. Personally, I think we're going to get a 1-0 win today. I just feel, looking at our team lineup, Mitrovic, Sessignon and both Aite starting up front, it looks positive going forward, so he's hoping for a good result today. Right. What about you? I think both teams are coming to a great run of form lately in their last five games. I think a win today would take us within to two points of where they are. I think personally, this is either going to be a nil nil or a very high score match. Yeah, we have to close the game. Personally, I say two one for them, one one for Ryan Sessegnon. Since we've last talked, you are very optimistic. Yes, I have. I and mean, you've been proved right. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I, I was looking back at some of the videos and I saw that it was, my brother was talking so positively. He was talking about, I remember watching the Ipswich video and he was saying how we should be pushing for automatic motion. At the time, I was a little bit cautious because obviously the gap was getting up. It was still quite, yeah, it was quite, still quite a distance, but he's been proven right. Camera scoring goals, you know, Mitrovic in the side. What a transfer win that we had, considering that we were potentially losing Kearney, potentially losing Cecil, and to, to sign both Mitrovic, Christie as a replacement, maybe replacement for Fredericks, and the quality that we brought in, and it's great. Also, I said in the last video I talked to you where we talked about Slavis and the transfer policy, considering that they've actually gone and listened to him and brought him in because there were reports about him talking to Mitrovic and what's happened that just that's a positive side moving forward for transfer policy. If we can build a side, then who knows? I think with the window, I think we we made a lot happen with very little. Yeah. Hopefully, with what we've got, I'd like to see them start to perform when the results come in. And I think so far, so good. To let it continue, see what happens. I think realistically, we're in, we're in with a uh, high chance of finishing all the matches. Yeah, it was fantastic to be fair. I think Fulham have been absolutely brilliant today. I think McDonald was super. With Kearney back in the middle, it's been brilliant to be fair. Kearney back in the team, it's made all the difference for me. And we're against a quality team today. Yeah. We made them look average. Yeah, very average. We kept the ball well, but with Mitrovic up front now, we've got that power and pace up there. Um, with Aitia alongside him and Sessin on the other side. I think. To be honest, I think it's the way we kept the ball, we were patient with it, we kept knocked it around in the first half, and then second half we just uh, put them to the sword, really. I think, I think to be honest, I think with Derby and Villa a little bit further ahead, maybe second is a little bit too far off the mark, but um, definitely a playoff place. Yeah, great win, yeah, that was 
well, one of the best results of the season, I should think. Yeah. Pretty much how the team played together, I should think. Yeah, it's um, I eat the all of uh, Sassy on uh, really brilliant players. Yeah, best result we could have hoped for. Um, coming into it, I would have been happy with the draw, but as soon as we started and they started playing defensively, I thought we have to win. And I don't think I've seen us play better than that second half in a few weeks. Being 17th of November to now. Is, is an insane turnaround and um, having lost what twice since the first of December in the league it's it's insane how far we've come it's insane um, I think Matt Target put in a good shift uh, again second week in a row but I don't think there was anyone that really did anything wrong Mitrovic had an incredible game despite you know not really getting the, the scoring chances but has a tough one to call I think we'll finish in the playoffs. Um, I think we'll miss out on second because we've got a tough run in now, but we'll definitely be right up there. Mr. Positive. Yes, hello. <laughs> it's good to see you today. It's good to see a good result, good weather. The, la the last time I, I saw you, yeah. I think you thought we can do this. Yeah, I, I, I do recall me saying second to you, but it's a long way off still. But after today's result against Villa, big, big game. You could see it today. Pitch, atmosphere. atmosphere, everything about it. The crowd was completely sold out today. So it was a big game for both of the teams. Villa needed a win. We needed the win. We needed the win today. Like we've got uh, Bristol City on Wednesday, which me and my brother are going to. So it's, that's another big game. We've got big game run of results. We've got Wolves, Sheffield Wednesday. Why didn't you come in here, Liam? Yeah. Well, how do you think it went? I think it went great. And seeing the way we played today and how we dominated them, because we did, we pretty much yeah, dominated. Yeah, we did. Them. We absolutely. I reckon. I reckon the way we today. played today against Villa, absolutely. I reckon we can absolutely push for top two. Yeah. Automatic promotion. I eat his goal from the open yeah, goal from Aye. Because oh, he normally Floyd's misses. He normally misses sitters and. Yeah. We just needed that goal. We needed that. Just Floyd taking just it from thirty yards out. It was amazing. It's an amazing goal today. But we have got to keep pushing. Run of results are coming up. We're going to have to try to get this second place. I still think second place is on the table. I said to you second place is a possibility and it's not out of the realms and my prediction's coming through. So we're going to have to keep pushing and hopefully we can get second place. Kind of predicted it, didn't you, before? I, I, I was, you know what, I was slightly optimistic but I, I didn't actually think that we'd turn up as well as we did today. I mean, considering they've got players like John Terry, I mean, he is Chelsea Ooh. through and through. Exactly, exactly. Today I was over, like, slightly optimistic, but they put in the shift and like my brother said, I have just got a massive amount of respect for the team today. Um, massive respect, amount of respect for Slavi. So first half we weren't as good as we needed to be. Um, we didn't turn up. Slav changed the tactics a little bit and obviously the second half showed a lot more attacking. I don't know how we didn't get three or four to be honest. We were very positive going forward. And I'm optimistic, like my brother said, you know, second place isn't out of their own as a possibility. Um, we've got to just keep the momentum going. You know, Bristol City on the week, um, on Wednesday, my birthday, is going to be very difficult. <laughs> Hang on, you're going to Bristol City on your birthday? Yes. My so what, what do you, what's your birthday message to the players and Slavisa? Um, do not let me down. <laughs> do not let me down. Do not let me um, down. No, in all seriousness, like it's going to be, I don't expect anything because it's a hard game. But if you turn up and you give 100%, not just for myself, but all the fans around, we'll have nothing but respect for you. And that's just, that doesn't go just for Fulham, that goes for any club around the country. If you turn up, you give us 110%, we'll have nothing but respect for you. Whatever happens at the end of the season, I want to say thank you to Ryan Sessing for turning up and representing us as a, 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 a fat, football family. Football family, <laughs> football um, family yeah. It's, and the same with Bettinelli and all the players, because i just got nothing respect for you. Thank you for this. Thank and how do you think it went today? Well, to be honest with you, I think it went very well. We showed some great promise. And to be honest with you, to my friends, I'm probably the most pessimistic fan you'll ever <laughs> yeah, meet. 100%. But I thought today, we, we turned up. First half, to be honest with you, it was boring as anything. <laughs> just possession domination and yeah, whatnot. But I thought second half was probably the best I've seen us turn up all season. Yeah. Like, the way Alexander Mitrovic, he was holding up the ball, bringing in the players to allow to come in and link up play and all that sort. Had John Terry in his back pocket, even though Terry's a top I'd, I'd say so as well. Yeah. Like, but fair play to Aston Villa, they, they brought a fair few thousand yeah. today. Fair they've, they've got a bit of a long journey back, we've kept the clean sheet, so 
Yeah, we're I feel sorry for them, but we kept the clean sheet, we got the three points. I'm but if I could say one thing to the players, to the managers, to the fans, just keep doing what you do. Because as things, as, things, as things stand, we're doing very well. We've got a couple few games coming up that are very important. And I think this is the pinnacle of our season. Now, if we get through these next two games in Bristol City and Wolves and we come out with at least four points, we've achieved something. Yeah, considering we got the victory at Villa today, you know, that we were looking at these runner fixtures in the coming couple of days and you were thinking, we've, if we're going to carry on and we're going to push for promotion, not just through, you know, what Max, but to close, the, open a gap for the playoffs, we needed to keep grinding out results and today's the prime example and it's just brilliant it's been absolutely brilliant is there anything you'd all like to say to John Terry I'll be honest with you <laughs> I would but it, it would concern very bad yeah. words so I don't think YouTube I'm, can accept yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry he's a player but he's he, can, he can go do one mind yeah. you know he's a player he's and a half yeah. Chelsea you can't, you can't chat, he's a player he's a half. good player but he's a Chelsea <laughs> reject <region. laughs> but we've kept Slavista Slavista's brought the players in yeah, that he needed he to bring in right. he's brought the three positions that we need to strengthen yeah. and he's strengthened them. He's Is making you? the team good. We'll get to the Premier League and we're gonna do this. Do not let me down. <laughs> but I think I think bearing in mind how between now and the end of the season, like we we've, we've managed to overcome between Slavica Jakanovic and the board, we managed to overcome the January yeah. transfer window. Yeah, done well. I think right now to be honest, the way I feel, I think we're just about keeping our heads above water in regards to the relationship between Slav and the board. So Let's see how the season ends. Let's see how the summer transfer window goes, and then who knows? This time come August, we, we might be a Premier League team. team. Yeah, exactly. You never know. We might be a Premier League team. And who knows what we can do next season? You know, um, hopefully, yeah. if we do get promoted, we survive, and that be the objective. But just so I can't bring promotion, the first. Planning, just promotion first. So, what would you, or if I do, or what would you like to say to the players, all of you? I know you've said it already, but can we start from you? What would you like no, to no say? The team, keep doing what you do. We love we're seeing you perform week in, week out. We know even if sometimes we don't win, sometimes we don't achieve what we want to achieve, we know that you give your all, you give enough to the club for us to keep supporting you, for us to keep turning in week in, week out. And just, yeah, make us happy, because that's exactly. what you're doing right now. 100% agree with that. Like, like I said, it's just about the respect between the football fans and the players at the end of the day. If you can keep performing to the highest level, if you can keep pushing, when people tell you you aren't good enough and you keep pushing forward and people criticise you and you can prove them wrong, then you have nothing but respect for myself and everybody here, to be fair. Uh, I would just like to say to the players, if they do view this video, thank you very much. It's been a very enjoyable season. All the players have worked their socks off. You made the whole of the Fulham team crowd proud. Yeah. If you do this again next season, then we shouldn't have any problems in the Premier League. And I thank oh, you very much. And I won't, you won't see me again after Sheffield United. And I wish the team all the best of luck for the rest of the season. Come on, you whites, let's do this. I, th I think I just love coming after having a bad week at school, coming watch the team perform. It's just like the, the form that we're on at the moment. I mean, the euphoria, the euphoria it gives you when you've had yeah. a hard week. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And like, just seeing the form that we're on at the moment and the form that Villa were on and the fact that we just beat them. And I mean, just good luck to the squad and hopefully we can get top two and get promoted.